Greetings, internet. Welcome back. I need to bring you closer. Now my head's cut off. Okay, this should be good. The very bottom step on my staircase is very creaky. Creakier than all of the other ones. But anyway, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another vlog. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I am in the worst mood today. <laughs> like, and to be honest with you, I have absolutely no right to be in a terrible, no good, rotten mood because I got a full eight hours of sleep last night. I had this appointment this morning that got moved to next week. So you'd think that would put me in a good mood because I have the morning to myself to do whatever I please, to you know, go on a nice leisurely stroll, not to worry about being late for anything because all of my other things I have to do today are this afternoon. But for some reason, just I woke up, I chose violence. I was so just like angry, hate scrolling, looking at all these posts on my feed and just being negative. Like all my thoughts were negative. I was just like mad at everyone for being happy. That is how I felt this morning. So I officially put my phone away. We're done with the scrolling. We're done with the phone for like many hours today because clearly it just like put me into a, a rotten mood. I really want to start doing this thing where I don't go on my phone first thing but I don't know how to do that because I just do you know it's just like second nature like the minute I open my eyes I am looking at my phone I am determined to get myself out of this funk out of this bad mood I think part of it also has to do with the fact that I'm about to get my period in like four days but for the most part we're not really focusing on the why we're gonna focus on what the heck do I do to get myself out of this bad mood because Life is too darn short to be stuck in a funk with that gray storm cloud over your head. And I guess, honestly, on that note, it is a pretty gross day out today. It's like very overcast and cloudy, and the sun isn't supposed to come out until like four o'clock. So that definitely affects my mood, the weather. So there's many facets to this bad mood I'm in, <laughs> but talking about it makes it better. It really, it really does. So anyway, we are doing fine. I'm in my little workout outfit. I'm gonna go for a stroll because usually, that helps me out. I need to get this very specific coffee, a very, very specific special coffee that I love and that really just boosts my mood anytime I have it. So I need to get that coffee specifically and then I need to go on a little walk and my phone on do not disturb and just be with myself and my, my thoughts or maybe a podcast actually probably would be more helpful. Anyway, I'm glad we got to touch base on this on <laughs> my stairs. I've been meaning to put my socks and shoes on, but I got a little distracted. It's gonna be okay. What can I say, guys? I like to keep it real and to tell you guys the truth of everything, like what I actually feel and like when I'm feeling lonely or sad or whatever, I'm not just going to sugarcoat it to make myself look better, you know? That's not what we're gonna do. My creaky step I'm going to groan as I get up. Yep, I knew it. <laughs> I actually got these new shoes. Where are they? And I'm still kind of breaking them in. Like they haven't like molded to my foot yet. If you guys know what I'm talking about. These are really cute. I like how they have this like neutral leather. Like that's like leather. I guess maybe kind of leather, but it's a cool little accent. Anyway, I'm gonna, I think, do my hair and look a little half up, half down. My hair is finally getting long enough that I think soon I'll be able to put it up in a ponytail, but it's just like my little babies in the back that always give me an issue. So maybe a few more inches and then I'll be able to put it up. Though I do want to keep it relatively short for summer. So we'll see. I go back to my hair girly in like, I think six weeks or four weeks, I think, because it was, it's been two. I go every six and every other time I go, I get a cut. So like I'll do color. I do color every time because I have my grays that I like to cover up, personal preference, but I do cuts every other because I'm like, my hair grows fast, but not that fast. So like I, I don't want my hair to be shorter than this length right now, honestly. Okay, now let's go fix my hair. Whoa, it's weird seeing my my side profile like that. Welcome to my bathroom. It is kind of gross and my towel rack fell down. Okay, good enough. And now I'm using my TG bed head little stick, kind of like a glue stick for the baby hairs. Smooth down some of the ones in the front that just stick straight up. Hair is looking good. If you guys are curious about my onesie, what do you call this? Like a cat suit, one piece, workout set, whatever the heck you want to call it is from Free People and it's really comfy and I like how it's like one shoulder, very different, interesting, but I did read online that you shouldn't do anything like high intensity in this because people have had issues with their boob popping out. <laughs> so <laughs> FYI, but I have not had any issues yet. 
though I've only worn it on like hot girl walks. So as long as you're just, you know, walking, you should be fine. Let's go on the walk. All right, guys, things are already significantly better than they were when I first opened my eyes today because I have my coffee. I've already drank a lot of it. So it's from my favorite place, Amano, in the West Village, and it's called Rocket Fuel. And I'd never heard of Rocket Fuel before. Apparently this is a known thing, but for me, it's like this extra special new thing. So I'm obsessed with it. It's kind of like cold brew, or it might be cold brew, but there's some other stuff in there. There's maple syrup, among other really delicious things. So it's honestly not as bitter as cold brew, but it still hits as hard. Like I still feel the effects. Like I feel caffeinated and I feel ready to take on the day. So now I'm just focusing on moving my body, sweating, not looking at my Instagram or my texts, and just clearing my mind. Just taking a little sit by the water. I've read somewhere, I don't remember where this was, that just looking at water improves mood somehow. Look at that cloud over there. I feel like there's a chance I might get caught in the rain, so I probably should get a move on before I do. <laughs> I'm feeling drops. Okay. Okay guys, it is a new day. I'm honestly feeling so much better than yesterday. I don't know what sort of mood I was in yesterday, but I was just feeling really down in the dumps, but it's okay because today is a new day and I hate when I can see myself in the mirror. So today is a new day. I've been banging out some work this morning, edited our podcast for the week, sent out a brand kit to a client that I was working on, a brand kit for, I was doing her logo redesign. So I sent that out and now it's like around lunchtime. I'm gonna head out, I have a date tonight and I'm going to the grand opening of a restaurant. So kind of like a double decker evening plan, a lot going on tonight. So I wanna make sure I'm adequately prepared, AKA I need a fabulous outfit. And in the interim between finding the perfect outfit and getting ready for these events, I'm going to squeeze in some therapy. I think I really need it after yesterday. I was just really feeling some type of way. So I'm going to take some time to do that. I'll talk about it a bit more later and my methods for this, but it's been really helpful when I just like have these weird funky weeks. I'm just wearing a comfy workout fit. I love these leggings from Lululemon. They're like, what do you call this? Like a tie-dye, tie-dye pattern. Normal, this black top, and I'm gonna use my little fanny pack. Wish me luck. <laughs> I didn't find anything for my evening plans, of course, because like when you have a specific goal in mind or an outfit goal, oftentimes in my experience, you find everything but, like every occasion but what you were looking for. So I didn't find anything for tonight. Like this is just a little bit much, or like, kind of daytime-y, but I'm gonna wear it on Saturday. My friend Tenley from college is coming to town, and so I'm gonna wear this uh, for whatever our plans are on Saturday. I just love the color, and it has like a really cute little like, sash tie back but as you guys can tell i just washed my hair i have this really awesome lip moisturizer it's from biba de susa which is this um skincare brand in la i just got home i showered moisturized my entire body preparing myself for my night luckily i'm not feeling as anxious as i was yesterday but this has been kind of a week, like a very pensive, very emotional week for me. So I thought that I would sit down with my therapist via BetterHelp. You guys know I've been using BetterHelp for some time now. I like how casual the approach is. I literally just get out my laptop and I message my therapist. I had a different therapist before I did BetterHelp. And for some reason, talking to her made me more anxious. <laughs> I don't know if it's because it was like a face-to-face -face sort of thing. It was just a little overwhelming for me. So I like messaging someone. It really just feels like I'm texting a friend, but not a friend. Actually, the benefit is that it isn't a friend. It isn't someone that's biased. This video is sponsored by BetterHelp, and I personally have really benefited from BetterHelp, so I'm really grateful to be able to promote them on my channel. So before I launch into my therapy session, I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about it because I feel like there is this kind of stigma surrounding uh, therapy and mental health where you feel like you might have to have a reason to start therapy, like some major traumatic event or something like that. And I just want it to be clear and just for more people to understand that therapy is for everybody. Like you don't have to deserve to go to therapy or have a reason to go to therapy. Honestly, just having this 
unbiased third party just to chat with as kind of a sounding board for everyday problems, everyday you know, relationship struggles and insecurities, it has helped me so much. And I love how casual BetterHelp is because like I said, I literally just message my therapist. I don't need to speak to someone one-on-one, -on -one, which kind of gives me anxiety and I don't love. Personally, everyone is different. They do that, but they also offer messages, chat, phone, video, all different methods, like whatever you prefer, but for me, I like typing out my feelings, my thoughts and feelings. I feel like it's easier for me to articulate things when I write things down. So I love that they offer that. And it's super easy to get started. They have this questionnaire you fill out, which I'll show on the screen. It is super straightforward and easy to answer. And from there, they match you with a therapist, a licensed therapist. And then from there, you can switch at any time. So if you find that the therapist you are assigned isn't a great fit, you can easily switch around. So definitely check out BetterHelp. I'll have them linked down below to how you guys can get started. And right now I'm just going to message my therapist and just have some me time before I get ready for tonight for the dinner and my date. So it'll be good to chat some things through before I go to such social battery heavy events. So I am really looking forward to this chill time. Okay guys, it is time for me to begin my getting ready process for tonight. This is my before. My skin's kind of freaking out because I'm about to get my period. Hopefully I don't have a moment of panic before I leave the house with my outfit. I think it's gonna work out, but we'll see. So I used my blow dryer brush from, or I guess blow dryer round brush from Dry Bar just to blow out my hair a little bit. Still a little bit wet underneath, but I'm going to just let it air dry the rest of the way while I do my makeup. But I have to say my hair has been really shiny recently and it's due to a few things. I've been using a lot of Living Proof products, which I think are really great, but then I also got this one hair mask that I need to show you guys. I think I might have talked about this before and I got it from Target. It is the Raw Sugar Healing Power hair mask and I just put this on for like five minutes after I shampoo and conditioner or put on shampoo and conditioner in my hair, wash it out. Then I just slap this on as like a hair mask while I'm shaving my legs. And honestly, my hair has never felt better than after I use this stuff. I use it like once, maybe twice a week. I don't know what it is, but after using that stuff, I feel like my hair is just so smooth and bouncy. So love that for me. Just using my Boar Bristle brush from Oribe to smooth out my hair a little bit more. Anyway, let's do the makeup and I'll be right back. This is what we have on. I still haven't curled my hair, but my air conditioner takes a minute to turn off. There goes the air conditioner. The top is from Amazon, gorgeous little flowers. I'll have it linked down below. And then the jeans are Jade Free People jeans. And oh my God, can you see my trash bag? <laughs> I'm still waiting for my trash can to come in. I got this cool trash can and it's back order. So this has been my current situation with the trash bag. Uh, just don't look at it. I just totally call attention to it. But anyway, look at the outfit. Way cuter <laughs> than the trash bag in the back. But yeah, this is the outfit I'm gonna wear. Um, haven't decided on the shoes yet. These jeans are actually a little bit long on me. So I think I'm gonna have to do a little heel of sorts, but I don't like wearing a huge heel on dates just because I like to be comfortable or like able to walk if we want to go for a little stroll after the bar, you never know. I do love a post date walk. So I like to be comfortable for that reason, but we'll see what goes with the fit and what I have. So that will be my last step. But I think now I'm just going to wave out my hair, finish it off. Right now it's just straight. My makeup turned out really good. Still put my lipstick on, but I just did like a golden, very fresh, not too much eyeliner sort of look. Gonna put some earrings in, lots of things to do. <laughs> lots of things to do in order to get ready for an, a night out. But yeah, I think I'm gonna pop some earrings in. I don't know which ones. I have really simple like baby hoops I might wear or what do I got? I need a better system of organizing all my jewels, but maybe I'll wear my charm bracelet. Love a little jingle. 
And if it gets annoying, I'll just put it in my purse. It's kind of nice that I'm going to this dinner before drinks, like dinner with my friends, and then I'm going out to drinks with this guy that I haven't met yet. It's kind of nice that I'm doing it in that order because then I can like, you know, have like a little chat session with my friends. They can hype me up, have a margarita, and then go. That's enough on the jewelry front. Whenever I have a neckline like this, I'm like, oh, I don't need too much. I don't want like a necklace on top of that. It's just too much. And then I already have deodorant on. Yep, <laughs> just have to put perfume on, purse, shoes, and I'm walking because it's actually really close. My first destination of the evening is very close. Um, don't you worry, I'll be doing a debrief either tonight when I get back from all of these things or tomorrow morning because I know you guys love a debrief as much as I love giving the debrief. So I need to finish up getting ready. So I'm gonna do that. I changed the jeans to a different wash. Still need to figure out if I should tuck this part in. It's a little bit long. Like I think this would be better with low rise jeans, but I will not be wearing low rise jeans. Tonight is just not one of those nights. It's a sitting night. Um, so I didn't end up actually curling my hair at all. I just bloated out even more and put a little bit of like volumizing product in it because it's actually pretty humid out. So I just know whatever I do is going to fall out and whatever. I think my hair looks good like this at this length. So we're just gonna let it rock, whatever it's doing. So I went with a lighter wash for the jeans. They're a little wrinkly. So this is the final look. I have this cute little clutch I'm gonna bring. Um, and I actually love this perfume from Jo Malone. It's called Water Lily. And it's actually called a cologne, so I guess it's unisex, um, which I guess all perfumes, all colognes could be unisex. Like I've worn men's colognes before, but I like love this scent. It is such a fresh, like unique sort of smell. And whenever I wear it, people always ask me what I'm wearing. So if you want to get similar questions, check this out from Jo Malone. Really fresh, not nauseating. Not gonna give you a headache. So this is the fit, let me go with my clutch. So I think I'm gonna bring this little clutch with me. I think it's from Target. <laughs> like, this brand sent it to me, or I got it somehow. I forget how I got it, I didn't buy this. I might bring this. I also have this little wristlet sort of thing that I might use. It's all going to depend on what I can fit inside. So <laughs> that is the outfit. And that is the send off, guys. I am hoping, fingers crossed, tonight is fun. I feel like it will be. I mean, I know I'm gonna have fun with my friends. The date might be great. It might be a train wreck. It might be just another, okay, that was fine, whatever, move on. Or it could be something very special. Who the hell knows? <laughs> I certainly don't. So we're going to do a debrief on it. I'll give you guys the tea. I have a good feeling about this one though, so let's do it. Let's go. So guys, we're dropping Katie off on her tea. Yes, and we're gonna go to Duas, we're having a night. They're going out <laughs> to a bar across the street, dropping me off at my date. And then we're gonna find Colby and Boyfriend. Yeah. Oh. Katie, and then we're all gonna meet up. Yep, Katie and her date are gonna come. Katie, he's gonna bring his friend. Okay. Wishful thinking, I just got a text from him saying, don't judge me, I'm coming in a suit because I'm coming from a work event. We I'm love, like, why would we, we judge for you not <laughs> wearing a we suit? Here we, we go! <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello. Guys, we have a lot to discuss. <laughs> I'm so happy. My hair is a little bit crazy right now. Good morning, everyone. It's a beautiful day, the birds are chirping, the sun is shining, and I went on a successful first date. I honestly had a great time, and he was lovely, really attractive, very funny, very interesting and like witty, and I really enjoyed spending time with him. It was a really good date. I definitely felt a chemistry, which is good. As you guys know, I've talked about in the past, like how it's really a bummer when you go on a date and you just like don't feel that spark. And I know it can develop over time, but it's really, really special when you go on a first date and already right off the bat, you're like, wow, I definitely feel a chemistry and like a sort of, I don't know what it is exactly. It's like kind of like a kindred spirit sort of vibe. Like you definitely just feel like you're cut from the same cloth and like it's difficult to explain, but I definitely felt very comfortable and very at ease with him and I wasn't super focused the whole time on whether or not he liked me. Like I was definitely very consciously not 
thinking that way because I've had issues with that in the past where I'm more focused on does he like me than do I like him and I was really just like paying attention and taking as much mental note as I could about him so you know not that it's all that serious and everything but I just wanted to like walk away from it and be like okay yeah I have a good read on him and I can kind of feel whether or not I want to go on a second date, which I definitely do. I really liked him. And, oh my God, my stomach's growling. <laughs> Just had coffee this morning. Um, but yeah, he was really great, texted me as soon as we parted ways. And I think think this could be something, guys. I think we could have some fun together, at least, and go on some fun dates together. So that's good. I guess in terms of what we did, so we went to this one bar called Wilfie and Nell, my friends Colby and Allie dropped me off, which was really funny. They went to a bar literally around the corner and were there and they're like, if it goes bad, if it goes south, just give us a text, we'll meet you on the corner, blah, 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 which was so nice of them. I'm like, I love my friends. Um, but I didn't end up meeting them because we had such a great time at the bar that I went to with this guy. And then we ended up walking down the street to another bar. So we went to Wilfie and Nell, the first bar, and then the second bar was Blind Tiger and just got like, casual beers at the second bar and we talked for so long he is such an interesting person i'm not going to give too much detail here because you guys know i have a podcast where i talk all about this stuff so have to save something for the podcast adam and colby are going to kill me if i give too much away over here but he's definitely a very special person and he listened to me and treated me like i'm a special person so that's good right i think you know when you can always tell when the person that you're talking to has interest in what you're saying and is actually listening to you. So it was good to feel listened to, which is like such a bare minimum thing. The bar is literally on the ground, but I don't know. It just felt like we had really good back and forth and he told really interesting stories and listened to the ones that I told. And it was a very fun, long night. And now I am tired, <laughs> but it was really good and I'm glad that I went and I guess I can tell you guys a few more details about him I think I said this in a previous clip on my way there but he was wearing a suit like a full-on suit coming straight from work and he texted me to let me know before and he was like just like fair warning like I, I wasn't planning on this I was gonna go home first but I didn't have a chance and he shows up in this suit and I was like you think that that's a turnoff like that's a turn on. I didn't say this out loud. I was like, don't worry about it. Wear your suit. <laughs> like he took the jacket off, but there's just something about a guy in a white button down, crisp white button down that really, you know, it's, it's good. I liked what I saw. Okay. I liked what I saw. He was very cute. And then he opens his mouth to speak and he's British. <laughs> so that's great. Has a really beautiful way of talking. And then really funny, interesting, smart. Honestly, like check, 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 check. And I'm glad that I went and I'm glad that I did the dinner before and then went to the date afterwards because my friends really hyped me up, really made me feel excited and comfortable and literally dropped me off for the date, which was so nice of them. So it was good. I think honestly, I wouldn't do more of those sorts of things where I have a little moment with my friends and then I go on the date or maybe like go on a date and then a moment with my friends afterwards to debrief. Like it's nice to, have a little bit of social contact with comfortable, uh, familiar people before going into an unfamiliar situation. I think that is such a great way to handle it or to sandwich it, I guess, or not sandwich it, just like position the plans. So anyway, it was a great night. Going on dates takes courage and bravery. And so I'm proud of myself for doing it and we'll see where this goes. I will give you guys some updates, but first date was a success and I'm really proud of myself and it was, really fun so yeah now i'm just going to go about my day i think this is the end of the vlog but have no fear i've been actually on a roll with putting one out per week one video out per week so i'm going to keep that up and i hope that the rest of this week is sunshiny and cheery because i had a rough start to the week but i think things are going to shape up fine because you know i take that time to lean into myself to give myself what i need take those breaks do the therapy. It's good to not sweep things under the rug and deal with your struggles head on and work through them. And then depending on the situation, it kind of disappears altogether, your problems. And then you can just focus on the next thing at hand and focus on living authentically and try to see things in a positive light. 
So that's just how I'm feeling, guys. So anyway, thank you guys for watching this vlog. Thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring this vlog. And I will talk to you guys all next week. Bye!